Hello, this is Burl with Digital Woodcarver. We're going to do a little training and do a little um, bob art extrusion with uh, a plate. Um, first thing we're going to do is make a couple circles. We're going to change those. Um, we'll do some quick lessons on how to change modify something. If you go to select, let's cancel over there. Go to select. We'll, we'll select one of the circles. Go down to entry modify. We can, we want to make that sure that's zero and zero, y and x the center of it. We're going to make the radius four. This is going to be an eight inch plate and then we're going to take the circle uh, inside of it and make it exactly one inch in so we'll need to make that Make sure the x and y is at zeros. But we'll need the radius to be at three inches. So it's basically eight inches and then one inch in, which would be a six inch on that. We're going to go to Bob Art. We're going to uh, create stock. Now we're going to make um, we're going to go eight and a quarter. Make it a little bit bigger on the stock. Eight and a quarter. But we're going to have to make the y origin, um, I believe, minus four and one eighth. Minus four and one eighth. See what that looks like. There we go. We'll turn it a little bit sideways as we do this so that we can uh, see what's happening here. We're going to go over and do a uh, regular. Uh, emboss or emboss regular and uh, I'll move this over to the side so we can see it but what we're going to do is we're going to subtract we're going to go to the spline and then what this is going to do is on this outside circle it's going to do this shape right here it's going to cut away whatever shape you do the spline now we're going to go in we're going to make this first cut to go in from this outside to this inside. Now it's also going to cut down into this inside area flat from that point. So you got three points to make your spline. The third point we want to be one inch in and we're going to go three-eighths deep. So I'm just going to manually put that in over here, point three. That's point three right here. One inch, three-eighths deep. And that's going to be my end point of where the second ring is going to end. And then these other two points, I can make some shapes. If we want to be creative, we can take it like this and pull it down. Just be careful uh, where you go on that. You can we want to create a little more smooth, or if we want to be have a little more of a hump, we can do some some unique shapes there. But let's uh, let's do that. Now you notice over here it needs to be regenerated. Oh, we've got to click on geometry. Hit select. Click on the line. OK. And go up to emboss model and regenerate. And you know you notice it's done a curve. You gotta look at it. Done a curve in. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that same thing, but we're gonna click on this line, go up here to regular. We're going to do subtract, and then we are going to go to spline. Um, this point right here is where we're going to start. That will be the start where we left off, one inch in, three eighths inch down. Now we're going to drop down a quarter inch, and we want to go in three inches. This is going to go clear into the center. Let me move this over. That's going to go clear into the center. So we'll take that point three three inches and we only want it to go another quarter inch down from there click over here so that is going to be our center point and then once again we can make some little bit of uh, modifications do something like that. Click on geometry, click on that center ring, hit OK. 
let's go back up and regenerate a little hard to tell because our, our design wasn't real unique but you can see how it does make a gradual cup down to the center and that's that spline and give us a look and, and that's how we made the kind of two different curves because your spline is limited to those three points so you just you do one and then you connect from the one down to the other and then we'll go back and modify those a little bit see if we can we'll go real drastic so that you actually see that something was happening and regenerate see how it really made a oh let's see what did we do here if you want to go to the front of it you go here yeah we made a point up uh, from that center because our outside went in let's go back and re-edit that because we went that created a point so let's make that a little smoother. You want that to be something like that. That's a little, little smoother. It doesn't, isn't as drastic. We could still modify it a little bit, but you see our transition from here to here, down to the point that's how we can make a plate let's go to the cam part we're going to do a three axis and we're going to do a we'll do a splice planer or you can do a spiral uh, we'll do a splice planer just for the sake of it select geometry click here click OK select boundary go to this outside line OK go to next that's fine. Nothing there. Tool that we're going to use. Let's use a quarter inch uh, ball mill. So that would be um, on this one, on mine, be number 11. Um, it would be a quarter inch diameter, eighth inch radius. Um, we will need to change the feed speed. I have not set that tool up. You can either go back and modify the tool or you can change it on the fly here. We want to make that cutting rate. For this, we'll go 35. We might want to go up even more than that, but we'll start out at 35. Go next. We're going to zigzag. We want the step over to be, we'll go 15 thousandths. We can make that a little, little stronger. 10 to 15 gives you a fairly smooth, um, and then we'll finish. And then let's go over and compute tool path. Takes just a second for that, but that should come up not too long here. And then we can rotate it. Let me zoom in on it so you can kind of see what it's doing. It's kind of hard to tell there, but it is. It is making tool paths up and down, and it's following the contour of that. So hopefully this helped in making some um, some areas. Now you could throw some text on here and extrude that back up if you'd like, or you cut it out a little farther. But that would be simply just putting it here on the top, create some text here, and then um, you know you could go back into Bob Art and extrude it out. But for now, we'll just uh, create this as a tool path. Post and save as It'll be plate one. Okay, I'm also going to make sure I save the file and we'll call it plate one two. Okay, that's it on this session. That 
uh, should get you a little bit farther along on the Bob Art.